Hello, I'm talking about classical data processing, but with workflow engines. The typical task I'm talking about are data updates for importing data, data exports for publication, raster processing, tile cache creation, that things almost every one of us has done once. And the classic, classical tools for that is writing scripts. I'm using GDAL, I'm using Python. And in the old days, we wrote cron jobs. So every night we process this data and some of us wrote map files, uh, make files, still a, a great tool, very old but still great. And then we wrote custom scripts because it got a little bit too complicated. And some people wrote DB controlled process control, uh, great as well. But time has changed. Uh, no, the challenges of this is uh, we have we got many scripts with different backends with different tools, so maintenance got a little bit difficult. Uh, overview of execution: I did how many jobs are running, or did they all run? I want to distribute jobs on multiple servers. I have complicated dependencies, so I want to use containers. I want aggregate all logs. I want analyzed logs, and I want pros uh, monitor my processes, and I want to have alerts if they fail. Um, and yeah, now we have these new tools. Uh, there is a new data science uh, with new tools, or the other way around. And we have many. Uh, I have a list here with Auth awesome workflow engines, which are built for for that use case, uh, doing automatic processing. And I selected just a few. So the the classical one is Apache Airflow, which introduced the the DAX, the direct acyclic graph, um, which is a great tool, which is quite common, but it's, yeah. And another class of tool is uh, business process modeling based, which has the advantage that you don't have to program in Python as you have with uh, the, the tool before. Um, but when it's getting complicated, maybe it's also, then you prefer uh, programming in Python but it still has use cases which are uh, a good fit for that. And the third one is Daxter, which um, has ticks many boxes on my list. Uh, it has also the stack, uh, this directed acyclic graph in the back and, and uses that for control and is you write your process in Python, but you have a good overview over processes, you can see uh, how they run, you have all the logs, you can um, analyze the times of the different steps it took, and, and you can see which pro uh, processes failed and each went, which went well. So this is really a, a great tool for controlling your workflows. Um, it has many backend libraries, you can use Pandas, you can dbt, Spark, and you can run it with a salary queue or on Kubernetes, and you have a Python API, and you have a grave graph QL API. So, what we've done, and then there is a different thing in the room. We have this OGC API uh, processes, which uh, is an API for doing pro process control for doing processing. So, what we've done, we've uh, combined that for our use case. So, we have a processes API in the front. We have Dexter as a processing backend. And we have Grafana for monitoring, for alerting, for log analysis. And so we have really everything we want. And yeah, that's, Oops, sorry. And my time is over. So that was it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Ben.